Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you're going to learn whether you can shove in this spot with 10-7 suited with 13 left, if this hand is a call with 51 left and 23 paid, whether you can call rejam or fold in this spot right on the bubble, whether this is a call or a fold, and whether you can jam or you have to fold in this spot. So today's focus is all around ICM. So I played a session on Sunday and during that session, my focus was to screenshot a ton of ICM spots, not just because I wanted to make a video about it, but because I think this forms a really important part of study. So what I did was I marked, I think, eight or nine spots in the end, and I've chosen five of them today, and we're gonna go through them. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the first spot then, the 10-7 suited. You can probably tell from this screenshot they actually folded in uh, in this spot. In most of these hands, I'm not gonna tell you what I did um, because I don't think it's that important. I mean, if we see that this is a shove and I folded, I mean, okay, right, fine, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, here you can see we're 13 left. It's the Sunday special, $44. And uh, yeah, we're bottom of the pack. Um, so I wanted to see in this spot, you know, was this the bottom of the range? Is 10-7 suited a shove or is it 10-8 suited? Um, what about you know, 9-7 suited or 8-7 suited, stuff like that. So let's uh, let's take a look in HRC. So here's the spot then. And what I did was actually allow min raises and jams. And the first thing I think is, is really interesting is that there are actually some min raises in, in this spot. So you can see 10s plus, say 10 suited, going for a, for an induce, you know, min raise, uh, min raise call. And then there's some hands that we want to min raise fold, like king eight off, queen nine off, queen seven suited, stuff like that. So very much a polarized opening range. Uh, and then the, the hands, you know, kind of in the middle are the ones we're going to go ahead and jam. And you can see 10, seven suited is a jam in this spot and uh, clearly a miss from me. Um, as I said, I did, uh, did go ahead and fold here. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the other hands that we're shoving. So any ace, any pair, um, you can see most of the broadways, king nine off. In fact, all the broadways, uh, king nine off them and lots of suited hands all the way down to king three suited. And then the suited sevens look pretty good as well. So this was a shove. We've learned about what other hands we need to shove in this spot. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this ace queen off, I think was a, a fascinating hand. Um, in a chippy V environment, uh, this is gonna be a slam dunk call. Small blind's gonna shove a lot of suited broadways that we're doing really well against, uh, and then we're flipping against uh, some pairs and things like that. So we can see they open from, what's that? Uh, the middle position, we flat then on the button with ace queen off, and then the small blind goes for a jam. So you can see at the top right there, uh, it says 51 left, 23 paid. And uh, that's quite important because this, uh, this tournament is a 109, there's only 10K guaranteed. So I think there were just over a hundred runners in the end. Uh, so it's like ha only half the field's gone, but we are you know, not too far away from, uh, from the money. So you might look at this and think, oh, there's no ICM involved here, um, but there absolutely is. So let's take a look at in HRC, see if this is a call. And if it isn't, what kind of hands do we get to call here? Because a lot of the hands that you know are better than this, we're gonna three bet in the first place. So yeah, let's take a look. All right, so in this spot then, EP uh, opens 18.6%. You can see the hands uh, at the top there, ace two suited, king eight suited, sixes plus, ace nine off. And then we can scroll down to us, we were on the button, and we can take a look at our strategy. So I did allow three bets and I did allow jams. Um, so you can see we're gonna three bet sort of jacks plus, we've got some suited aces in there, we're gonna three bet. Um, but we do flat some pretty strong hands here, tens, nines, ace queen off, ace queen suited, stuff like that. So I think that's quite important when the small blind does go ahead and jam, his jamming range is gonna be hands like ace queen suited, ace king off, king jack suited, uh, king queen suited, king 10 suited, as you can see, jacks and tens, bit of fives, ace four suited as well. And then uh, when he does jam, uh, and you can see ace queen off is calling around 24% of the time. If we click on EV though, we can see that it is actually you know losing us money here. So it isn't gonna be a call in this spot. As I said before, it is gonna be a call for chips, um, but for, for ICM, it's, uh, it's definitely not. So you can see what kind of hands do we actually have, you know, ace, queen, suited, and tens. Nines is actually gonna be a, uh, a fold here. We do do flat that. Uh, so yeah, it's just gonna be tens and ace, queen, suited that we that we get to uh, to call here. Uh, and we would be, you know, three betting a lot more of the sort of the jacks plus ace, king type of hands. All right, so a pretty interesting spot. I think uh, maybe you were looking at this and thinking, oh, well, I think ace, queen off is probably, uh, probably a call. Can't believe that it actually isn't. You know, it's actually losing us money in this spot. Um, we should just go pretty strong here. You might be looking at a hand like nines and eights and thinking the same thing, right? That's, you know, um, nines, well, how can we fold pocket nines 
in this spot. Um, but yeah, it's difficult to argue with the solver. Let's go to the next one. All right, so another spot here then. Uh, this is the Zodiac main event, uh, 388 yuan. I think that's how you say it. Uh, I think that's roughly like $60, something like that. Um, so there was something like 55,000 yuan at, at the top, uh, up top in this uh, in this main event. So uh, that's what, like eight and a half, nine thousand dollars $9,000, something like that. Uh, so here we go. This is the spot, 205 left, 197 paid. So really close to the bubble. And the undergun player jams. And we've got a spot here with ace jack suited. Now, I think this is really interesting because you've got to assume that he's going to be shoving, you know, some some weaker ace-x hand suited aces in this uh, in this spot. So I thought this was a really, really cool spot to, to analyze, to find out, you know, is ace-jack suited a call in this spot or do we actually just fold? And it seems really, really tight to go ahead and fold. But uh, yeah, let's find out. All right, so the under the gun player is going to jam this range. Sevens plus, not even all of ace-10 off, so ace-jack off, ace-9 suited, king-jack suited. I actually thought in game that he would get to shove a little bit wider than this, uh, but I guess like he doesn't have too much fold equity. So uh, yeah, the range is actually really, really tight this close to the bubble. So if we then go to our decision, and you can see ace-jack suited is not a call. If we call here, we're going to be losing, it says they're $24.50. Remember, this is yuan, so the first prize is 55,000 yuan. I'm definitely getting the pronunciation wrong on that. I apologize, guys. Uh, but yeah, so it's not actually dollars here. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter how much it is. You know, you could be playing a super high roller. You could play, be playing the, uh, you know, big 220, right? It's all about, is it, you know, is it profitable to call here or not? So yeah, you can see here that it's not profitable to call with ace-jack suited. We can call with uh, tens, queens plus, ace-queen off, ace-queen suited. Uh, interestingly, I wonder, you know, if we do call here and let's just say a big blind, big blind jams, you can see we're actually supposed to fold ace queen and tens in this spot and leave ourselves whatever it is like five five bigs back um so i think that's pretty pretty interesting and yeah the definitely not a call in uh, in this spot so this stage guys i'd love to know from you uh, by dropping a comment down below whether or not these are a surprise to you or you yeah you already got it you, you knew that ace jack suited in this spot was a fold you knew that ace queen off was a fold you knew that 10 7 suited in the first hand was a jam let me know in the comments because i want to know if this is sort of common knowledge or actually wow this is really interesting uh, for you guys let's go to the next hand all right so king queen suited here we are deeper in the main event now we have 19.5 bigs there's 124 left i think one of the biggest misconceptions in uh, in tournament poker is that ICM is only a thing, you know, when you're on the bubble or final table bubble or on the final table. I mean, it's, you know, it definitely is a thing at those times, but you can see here we're 124 left and uh, you can see the, you know, the next prize and the money jump at 113. The thing is that you should be doing these kind of sims, the HRC sims for when you're in the money as well, because they will be different from uh, from chip EV. So you don't want to be approaching this spot from a chip EV perspective. In this situation, I thought it was interesting. That's why I've screenshotted it, um, if that's a word. The uh, Because I wondered if he gets to shove like a lot of suited broadways again. So he's definitely going to have a min raise range here, but he's also going to have a jamming range too. I think his uh, range is going to be split. So yeah, I just wondered if we had enough equity in this spot uh, to, to call. And obviously equity here is referring to dollar equity, not just... Um, you know the the equity that we could have against his his jamming range we know we need to have more equity than that because we're risking you know two-thirds of our stack in this spot when we're already in the money and we obviously have you know dollar equity in this tournament let's take a look at hrc all right so once again we you can see i've given it a min raise range and a 13.5 big blind jamming range as well and as expected, we've got some jams in here, the, the suited broadways that I thought there would be, uh, some ace X, you know, ace nine suited, ace queen off, ace king off a decent amount of the time as well, nines and eights and, and some other small or lower pairs as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, looking at this, I would have thought, okay, yeah, maybe king queen suited is doing all right. If he's gonna min raise, you know, a lot of the stronger hands in this spot, then this, uh, yeah, looks pretty, pretty reasonable. So let's take a look. And we are in the small blind facing the jam and you can see king queen suited definitely not a call if we call we're losing eight dollars uh, again whatever that is in in real dollars you know this is uh, 
you, you can't put in that this is uh, Yuan. I don't think you can anyway. Uh, if you can, drop a comment down below if uh, if that's the thing. You can change the change the currency and it will convert it um, in real time to dollars. But I don't think it can. So here we are. We don't want to be calling or rejamming in this spot. Uh, so yeah, the range of hands we have is sevens plus, ace jack off, ace ten suited, and that is it. If you run this for chips, you're going to see that you can call a lot wider. And I'm fairly confident King Queen suited is going to be in there. So already we're seeing that ICM is playing a huge role in the kind of hands you get to, uh, to to call in these spots or to jam. So if you only take one thing from this whole video, is that you definitely shouldn't be using your chippy V ranges once you get you know pretty deep into the tournament. All right, let's take a look then at the final hand. So even deeper into this tournament now, 53 of 58, and we have Ace Jack off facing a 2.2 big blind open. So the question here is, do we get to jam our exact hand? And also, what other hands are jams? And are there any flats as well? Let's find out. All right, so here we go then. This is the middle position opening range for 2.2 big blinds. And we're gonna go to our small blind strategy. And so the first question was, can we jam ace jack off? It looks like we can. You can actually jam you know, reasonably wide here, ace nine off, ace eight suited, fives, Plus, my initial thoughts in this spot is that we don't have too much fold equity. We have, what, like nine big blinds. He's raised to 2.2. It's not much for him to call. There's quite a lot of uh, money in the pot once it gets back to him. So we definitely want to have a more linear range, as you can see here. We, yeah, we're just shoving fives plus ace nine off, ace eight suited. Uh, king queen suited, king queen off look to be in there as well. Another question was, do we actually get to flat any hands? And you can see that we do. King jack suited, king ten suited, queen jack suited, queen ten suited, ace seven suited, ace five suited, a little bit of fours as well, some jack ten suited. So yeah, we, we do actually get to flat some hands here, uh, sub ten big blinds. And that might come as a surprise to some of you. Maybe you just think, okay, we only get to, you know, three bet jam or fold in these spots once we get, you know, super short. But that's not true. Uh, we do actually get to flat some hands. Let's take this one step further and see how often our opponent's supposed to call. So we do jam. This is our opponent's calling range. So you can see he's only going to fold sort of the, the bottom hands here. He's actually going to call us off with hands like jack nine suited, ten nine suited, uh, some hands down here as well, ace nine off, ace ten off. So I mean, ace jack off is definitely a, a, a value jam in this uh, in this situation but it just goes to show that we need to have a more linear range here we are not relying on fold equity because he's not going to fold that much and um, so we want to have a hand that plays pretty well against his calling range all right so i'm going to wrap things up there hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a comment down below if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button and the notification icon as well i'm going to be back soon with a brand new video but until then take care and i'll see you soon Bye bye